Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani. Thanks for checking out our Raise the Line interview series in which me and my co-host, Osmosis Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Rishi Desai, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you'll watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Dr. Rishi Desai, and today on Raise the Line, I'm happy to be joined by Dr. Robert Kane, President and CEO of the Association of American Colleges of Osteopathic Medicine, known as ACOM. Well, you know, let me just dive in. Uh, I'd love to just kind of hear a little bit about your background and what sparked your interest in medicine in the first place. Well, actually, I didn't become interested in osteopathic medicine until I went to college. And so when I actually uh, left my hometown, went to uh, college in uh, uh, New Wilmington, Pennsylvania, Westminster College, uh, I didn't know anything about uh, uh, osteopathic medicine. And I was working as an EMT in a, a small community there that happened to have an osteopathic hospital. And it was the exposure to those physicians who were so proud um, of their degree and their profession and really their story and uh, what they were trying to talk about, their role in healthcare, their role in patient care. Um, the philosophy and the passion that I saw in them uh, actually uh, caused me to select the DO degree. I'm curious right now, a lot of those folks are just coming out of training. The students are entering a very weird time with COVID-19. Maybe as a, as a closing, I'd love to get your thoughts or advice to, the, to that army that you speak of um, as they're trying to develop their career. Well, I think the, the first and foremost thing is we need you more than ever right now. And, and I know there's disappointment, there's, there's uh, anxiety uh, within the community because there's so little control for the students, no matter what degree uh, they're actually trying to earn. But that idea that we need you to keep moving forward um, there are a lot of people out here trying to do their best for you, right? And, and it may not feel that way every day, but we really are. So I think for the students, um, you know, this is going to be a defining moment uh, for this generation that's uh, training not only in medicine, but other healthcare professions. It's going to affect the choices they make for graduate medical education, their career choices, uh, and carry for years into the future. So I, I suggest don't lose hope. We are going to get through this pandemic. We need them to remain committed um, to prepare for potential disappointments and disruptions. You know, everyone's experiencing that. And so you know, to try their best to be flexible and adapt and, and to keep in that in mind that idea, we need you. You know, as people move forward, we have to make sure that we continue to build a physician workforce uh, that is uh, ready to take care of uh, patients uh, every day of the future. Thanks for watching this preview of Raised Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series, please go to osmosis.org forward slash raise the line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.